But I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. Help somebody. Helping makes you really happy. Need money and I don't. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. But don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. It would mean a lot to me. Please. There ain't no more time for talk. Go.
Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. <laughs> Take it. Sorry about your daughter, Joel, but I have lost people too. You have no idea what loss is.
me. You've just been torturing yourself with this whole time. I didn't come here so we could just lose you all over again. Jeez. You have helped me so much more than you know. This is the way I live. I can't do it without you. Aiden, please. You're just giving up. I was Aiden Pierce. The fox. For a long time. I have blood on my hands. Souls on my conscience that I can't ever set right. I'm tired. I'm ready to lay it all to rest. The only thing you know how to do is sacrifice yourself. But Mom doesn't need you to protect her anymore. I don't need you to protect me anymore. We just want you to be there. I've caused enough damage and hardship in my life, Jackson. This is a funeral. There's no getting around that. Yeah? So say goodbye to the Fox. Goodbye to Aiden Pierce the Vigilante. Bury that guy. But don't tell me that's all you are. Because you're my uncle to me. Clear, but still, the memories came rushing back, as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast. His humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. Spilling the blood of his own family. My wife, my child, Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. The gods of Olympus have abandoned me. I asked for Spartan. What good? It is all I have, Atlas! Kratos, she will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever strong. I will have my revenge! Locked deep inside of you, Kratos, is home. It has remained buried, trapped by your guilt and the failures of your past. When you killed Zeus, you must have allowed something to awaken it. What was it, Kratos? Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. I was wrong, Atreus. I was wrong. Open your heart. Open your heart to their suffering. That is your mother's wish. And mine as well. Today, sir. Today, we will be better.
I destroy us! No more. No more. For the sake of our children, we must be better. Decide so that I do not be 